What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So this is something that so many people seem to miss entirely or just don't fully understand. And this is also something that the most financially successful people all seem to do on autopilot without ever even thinking about it. Just about every wealthy person I know does this and they owe this as a major factor to their wealth. In fact, just doing this has led me to over double my net worth, which I'll explain in a minute. The thing is, when it comes to growing your wealth and eventually crossing the million dollar mark, no matter what you do, at some point you can only do so much on your own before you need a little bit of a push and you need some help. And this is something that millionaires understand really, really well. Well, they know that after a certain point, there's only so much they can do on their own before their performance plateaus. And this is where this strategy ends up kicking in and really taking off. Like consider this, even if you're able to save $50,000 a year after all of your taxes and expenses, it's going to take you 20 years of doing that just to reach $1 million. So what do most financially successful people do instead is that they get help. And they get help in the form of using their money to work for them. So instead of taking 20 years, if you just invest your $50,000 a year at an average of an 8% return, you can achieve millionaire status in nearly half the time in just about 11 years. So now by the time your 20 runs around, assuming you're still investing the same $50,000 a year at an 8% return, instead of having a million dollars, you will now have $2.7 million. That is nearly three times higher than the person who didn't invest during the same period. And this math works pretty much the same no matter how much you invest. At an 8% return, you will cut the time it takes in half to become a millionaire. And this is what every single financially successful person I've ever met does. And this doesn't matter if you're on a salary or you're paid hourly or you're on commission or you earn your money passively. At a certain point, you reach a plateau in terms of what you can do on your own and you will need to have your money working for you. The money that you're able to save is the most valuable money out there and it has the potential to grow far beyond what you can earn with your own time. And here's a fun fact for you. Since 2008, I've sold a little bit over $120 million of residential real estate as a real estate agent. This grossed me about $3 million worth of commission. Now after brokerage fees and other expenses, I'm left with about $2 million. Then after taxes and living expenses, I'm left with a little bit over a million dollars of net profit. But I've been able to more than double this amount by understanding this strategy and choosing to invest and have that money work for me instead of having me work for more money. And by just choosing to put that money to work, that money continues to grow regardless of what I do day to day. And this is what pretty much every single millionaire I know does. They will work, save, invest, repeat. But that invest part snowballs to a point where eventually you make more money with your investments than you can possibly earn with your own time. And at this point, you can pretty much just lay back and say, Great, you guys. I'm going home. And even now, I would say the money I make from investing and buying properties pretty much matches the money I make working as a real estate agent. So just by investing, I can pretty much double my income without doubling the amount of hours that I work. And I'm sure over the next few years, I'll actually end up making more money investing than I can earn with my time as a real estate agent. And you're gonna end up doing the same thing at some point if you want to expedite your wealth. Use your money as a tool to generate more money and more income in the form of investing. And this is a concept, unfortunately, that many people don't utilize to their fullest extent. And these are the type of concepts that should really be taught in school instead of really stupid math problems like Johnny has 12 apples and then Johnny gives Susan half of his apples, but then Susan gives him back twice the amount that she received. How many apples does Johnny have now? Comment down below and let me know because honestly Johnny doesn't give a f how many apples they have because it's not earning him any money unless he sells those apples, in which case if he sold all of his apples for $1.50. How much money would Johnny have? Comment down below, let me know how much money Johnny has now. So anyway, just by knowing this and just being conscious of where your money is going, you're gonna be in a better position to eventually take advantage of this and invest your money and eventually have your money working for you instead of you working for your money. This type of saving and investing above anything else is gonna be the clear path for you to become independently financially, independently. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Also feel free if you haven't already subscribed, smash the subscribe button. It's a really easy thing to do. The button is right there. Just make sure to smash it and then smash the notification bell so YouTube can notify you anytime I upload videos. Also feel free to add me on Snapchat and Instagram because I post stuff on both of those pretty much daily. And if you wanna be a part of it there, feel free to add me there. 
Thank you again for watching and make sure to comment down below. Let me know how many apples Johnny has and then if he sells it for $1.50 each, how much money is he gonna have? Super important we get these things answered, extremely important. So let me know down below and until next time.